from Nollywood, the highly anticipated action drama Brotherhood premieres in Lagos, Southwest Nigeria. And here are some highlights from that star-studded private screening. Do enjoy. So your twin brother is an ex-convict. I came from the exact same streets. The Brotherhood, the Nigerian crime action film produced by Jadio Siberu and directed by Ugandan filmmaker Lukman Ali, premieres in Lagos. The star-studded cast, media representatives and well-wishers are all in attendance. The crew of this film is actually Pan-African. Then there's a Nigerian crew. Some of them are from Kenya, Uganda and South Africa. So we had to bring, there's some expertise that unfortunately we don't yet have. So for instance, there's a car flip that is in the trailer that we don't have the capacity to do here. The car is moving and literally lifts off the ground. We had to bring in people from South Africa and Kenya to implement that, right? Um, some of our people on the team, the sound right from Uganda. from So even the fight scenes, the shootouts, all of that we needed. But we do have a core strength here. So a lot of our stunts, like fighting stuff, our stunt coordinator is Nigerian, um, our core team around it was Nigerian, but it was a full African collaboration. In anticipation of the film, the trailer is viewed by the audience. Brotherhood, a story about twin brothers, Aki played by Falls and Wale played by Toby Bakre, both are bound by blood, yet separated by their choices. After years of hustling on the streets of Lagos, the brothers fall on opposite sides of the law. Stand down now, we have you surrounded! Jadio Siberu shares the inspiration behind the story, says it's inspired by real life events. So I live in Lucky Phase 1, um, and across the road from me is an FC, there's a bank, sorry. There's a bank that got robbed years ago um, where they came in like the army, literally, actually dressed like the army. The star studded cast Toby Bakre, Fowles, Basket Mouth, Tony Tones, Debo Adidayo AK, MC Macaroni, Amaomi, and Ron Keoshudi talk about their different experiences on set. When people know you for a certain character or a certain style, mine, which is comedy online, which actually I didn't stumble on acting, I stumbled on online comedy. Mm -hmm. yeah. I be Espian. I know they do. The comedy thing, you know they really and in fact I never wanted to do comedy. So when people say say, ah, this guy is funny, me self I shock. <laughs> say people find me funny. So when I get roles like this that take me out of what people know me to be. It's always wonderful and I always try to give my best. It was a very beautiful one. We have a very hard working and a very beautiful director that knows what they are doing. Uh, bringing that kid to life was very interesting. Uh, um, Jenny made it easy because once the writing is good, you're halfway there. And then on set, like, you're playing a robbery scene and it looks like a robbery scene. It feels like a robbery scene. So as an actor, you just do your part. The rest of it has been done for you. So I really want to thank the production, um, everybody on set. It was just amazing and it was, you know, it wasn't too much of work. These are the kind of projects that make cross carpeting worth it. Because for me, it is another realm. This is not me playing a comedic role. This is me kind of showing that I can actually do this thing, you know. So I, I really, if you know how eager I am to watch the full film. <laughs> it's just something I've always wanted to explore. And I've had friends that I constantly go to ask, like, am I doing it well? How should I do it? Like, Lala, thank you. Uh, so, yeah, that's why I'm doing it, genuine love for it. Thank you, Jenny, for including me. I'm, I'm so proud of this, this and, I'm, and I'm so proud of myself. I've been doing comedy for 24 years. Come on, I need to do something different. So when she came and she said I was going to be playing a gang leader, I was like, hey, now we're talking. But when I saw all the things she wanted to do, I was like, okay, you know what, Jenny? Let me see what you've done that is close to this. <laughs> and she sent me the gangs of Lagos. 
Elidia Selamin. I can even think about it. Oh, well, I'm good. <laughs> Tony Tone says it's always been a dream of hers to take on an action role. For me, playing Goldie, I don't know, I don't know if that is a, it's an asset player for me because I have been dying to do action. Like when I say dying, my dream is to play a Marvel character, a superhero, so I really been dying to play action. When she called me and sent me that script, listen. Um, and um, apart from just how good it was technically, apart from just how good the film was, the experience on set as well, I think, was another best for me. Each actor thanks the producer for creating the roles and executing the vision. Most cannot wait for the reactions of the public and the release of the film this September. Drop your weapon! <laughs>Okay, thank you so much for watching. That's all we have for you today. But please do follow us across all social media platforms. Write the details on your screen. I am Bukola Ogumbadede and I cannot wait to see you soon.